Lauren Daigo, Toby Mark, and other Christian artists had to stop touring amidst coronavirus quarantine. Many Christian artists are temporarily halting their tours and advising fans to look to Jesus as countries implement different measures to stave off the spread of the new coronavirus. As of Tuesday afternoon, more than 184,900 people worldwide have tested positive for COVID-19 and 7,529 people have died, according to the World Health Organization. The average age of those who've died is 80. On Sunday, the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention recommended that there not be gatherings of 50 people or more for the next eight weeks to reduce the virus's spread. As a result, tours worldwide are being cancelled. When we are out on the road, my heart is to give you a place to escape, a space to love, dance, sing, and experience joy without worry, Lauren Diego shared on her Instagram account. In response to the COVID-19 developments, we've decided to reschedule all our upcoming shows through April to 29. Daigo was on the road, headlining her first world tour and said she will refund purchased tickets for the Deaths concert. She added, we love you all so much and we are doing our best to keep everyone's health and safety in mind. May the peace of Christ cover you in this time. Please keep those impacted in your prayers. Our hearts go out to all of you. Toby Mark also suspended some of the tour debts for his Hit Deep Tour 2020. It is with a heavy heart but a responsible mind that I have to announce that the remaining 10 shows of the Heat Deep Tour are being postponed until August. We are at this very moment completely set up in Simone's Bank Arena in North Little Rock and regretfully but responsibly won't be able to play tonight. We love you guys and are so thankful for you. We encourage you to be safe. Pray and care for your families. We have faced so much lately, but I'm holding on to everything in me, to the promise that he will never leave or forsake us. He is a good, good father, and I'll stand on that. Toby Mark wrote on Instagram. Amy Grant also announced her decision to reschedule a string of tour dates beginning March 14th in Durham, North Carolina and running through April 9th in Salt Lake City, Utah. The band and I have worked for weeks putting together a show we were so excited about sharing with everyone, Grant said. Her, our time is now, tour kicked off last weekend with a full band. We are extremely disappointed to have to postpone these shows, but we want to prioritize the health and safety of all those in attendance, venue staff, touring staff, performers, and families. We hope this downtime is effective in helping to stop the spread of COVID-19. For all our sakes, be safe and be kind to each other, Grant said in a statement to the Christian Post. Michael Dalio Smith also announced the postponement of 35 years of Friends Tour. In what people have referred to as uncertain times, I'm certain of this, God is in control and loves you more than we can even imagine. Smith said in a statement, I rest in him and I trust him. I look forward to rescheduling these concerts and doing what I feel God has called me to do. For King and Country Duo, who also delayed their Burn the Ships World Tour, took to Instagram to share a video encouraging fans to be kind to one another as the federal guidelines encourage social distancing. These are moments to show great compassion for our companions in life because there is some that handle these things relatively easily and there is others that this creates an enormous amount of stress and i would just say have great compassion for those people and help now you can in the season where people might not be moving around quite as much for a couple of weeks singer luke smallborn said joel smallborn added 
I believe under God that this is an opportunity for us all to rise up as a community and show, even if it's from a distance, that sense of love and generosity and kindness and faith to one another and know that our hope is not found in bricks and mortar. Our hope is found in something so much greater. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Keep safe. Let's keep praying. We know all this will be over soon. Well, I'll see you again in my next video. Bye.